Now let's go to this next video clipping, okay, of this elder, ex-member of Kingdom Hall, testifying how Jehovah Witness has created a heap of lies and how every time their false prophecy fell, 1914, they readjusted to 1915. And then when 1915 fell, they readjusted it, Charles Sass Russell, to 1918, even though Charles Sass Russell died in 1916. Well, when 1914 came, of course, uh, we had to change our views, just like we had to change the views later. The date was pushed forward to 1915. Then, 1918. Certainly, Armageddon was just around the corner. But in 1916, Charles Taze Russell died, sick, weary, and disappointed. A massive stone pyramid stands today at his gravesite as an embarrassing reminder of his false prophecies. So there you have it, my brothers and sisters, from the horse's mouth, coming from an elder Caucasian, an ex-member of Jehovah Witness, declaring the deceitful deception lies of this satanic kingdom hall game, as Proverbs chapter 24 Verse 28 explains, Be not a witness against thy neighbor without cause. For this is the issue of the matter. And deceive not with thy lips such as false prophecy. In ancient times, all false prophets were put to death. This ain't no game. This ain't no joke. This is serious business. And you got Chinese. You got a lot of people in Africa. You got a lot of them deceived with this falsehood doctrine. Because they're going to have to learn the truth too one day. This is nothing but Damien. The tactic that they use is the discovery of archaeology relics, such as this cylinder, which describes how Cyrus, the king of Persia, how he released the children of Israel from the captivity of Babylon, which is recorded in 2 Chronicles chapter 36, verse 23.